from Jamie Ray Vintage. Today's DIY is all about taking Jack's baby room and turning it into a big boy room. Right now he sleeps in a porter crib alongside all of our extra furniture. We're gonna be taking out all the furniture and the porter crib and putting in some bunk beds and some fun furniture to decorate his room so baby Jack will finally have a room of his own. Well, we got this bed, it was already primed. There was some drippy paint, so we went ahead and sanded off the drips, and we're ready to paint it. We're using Fairy Chalk Mother and Best Black, and we're gonna spray it on. If you wanna know more about spraying chalk paint, be sure to check out our other videos. Zeb will post the link below so you can see how to use your sprayer to paint chalk paint. Hey guys, so I'm letting you in on a little part of my house that not a lot of people get to see. This is Jack's room. Jack still sleeps in a porter crib. He currently has a hole in the side because he pokes his leg out of it. We store all of our furniture that hasn't sold and then stuff that we use for shows in his room. And then he trashes everything. Here's my shipping boxes are all over the floor that I used to ship paint in. And we are going to And it to still says Redrick from when <laughs> it was Redrick's room. Yeah, it still says Redrick on the wall. And Jack is 20 months old now. So it's time to clear this out and make Jack his very own bedroom. So I'm so grateful for my YouTube channel because it gives me the opportunity and the reason to take the time to clear this out and make a space that Jack can play. And we're going to put the bunk beds in here so that way when company comes, Redrick can come up from his room downstairs and sleep with Jack. And then we have a guest room for company. So I can't wait to show you guys the transformation. But this is the before of Jack's room. So the room is all cleared out. And the next part we're going to do is, hey, Jack. Come on in, you wanna help? And come help mom? Come here, Jack. Well, I guess he doesn't want to. So the next the next thing we're gonna be doing is using our 80 grit sandpaper and our sanding block. And I'm gonna distress. Normally I would do this outside, but it's raining and windy. So I'm gonna go ahead and distress this. And go along all the edges and make it look kind of worn because this is going in Jack's room and he's not especially nice to stuff. So it'll get distressed anyways. So I'll show you what it looks like, all distressed and put together. Are you going to distress it, Jack? Distress it. Hi. Yeah. Then we distressed it and you can see a little bit of the white peeking through because it was primed when we got it. And then we sealed it with polycrylic so that if the boys smear anything on it, it'll come right off. This is going to be Jack's bed, but when company comes, Redrick will be sleeping on top. Now we bought this bedding at Target. I love it. It's got these astronauts on it and it's got some of my favorite colors in it. And they, we also bought these really cute sheets that have these moons on them. And the sheet sets come with flat sheets. My boys don't use flat sheets, and I was talking to my sister Deborah, and she said use them as curtains. So this is what I'm going to do to use them as curtains. They've got this casing on top, and we just slit each side with scissors. If you wanted to, you could sew it and make it neat, but I don't really care because nobody's going to see that. And we're going to take and put the rod through here and make curtains. Here's our curtains. We've got them hung. I hung them a couple inches from the ceiling because they are really long because they're the flat sheets and I didn't want to have to mend the edges and to give this room some height because we only have eight foot ceilings. So I wanted to give the illusion of taller walls. Our room's all finished. What do you think, Jack? Do you like your room? Is it cute? Are you going to play in here? Are you going to sleep on your bed? Let's go see your bed. You want to come see your bed? Come here. <laughs> is this so fun? Are you going to get all your drawers and unload them? Well, I think Baby Jack likes his new big boy room. Be sure to comment below with your toddler rooms that you've created and give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.